वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू एडवांस एज यू वर्चुअल डेस्कटॉप क्लास गाइस आई मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन प्रीवियस क्लास ऑफ ए वी डी वी डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रेरिक इज इट टू सेट अप आवर एज योर वर्चुअल डेस्कटॉप होस्ट पुल एंड इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सेट अप आवर वी नेट वी क्रिएटेड वन वर्चुअल नेटवर्क एंड ऑल्सो एडेड वन सर्वर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन वर्चुअल मशीन एंड ओवर अ सर्वर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन वर्चुअल मशीन वी सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल ADDS services, right? So this is second part you can consider. This is a third session and second part of our uh, AVD host pool implementation. And in this class, I'm going to give you the complete details, like how to set up our AVD host pool. Before move, I need to give you some basic information about to set up our Azure Virtual Desktop host pool. The prerequisites are we have already discussed, like we need to create. Uh, as you read it this is first step that you need to conf co configure and in the vnet you need to add one subnet as well yes definitely you must need to add one subnet because without subnet we are unable to create any kind of virtual machine or any kind of resources in subnet you need to set up your virtual machine should be a server operating system and uh, over a server you need to install adds service active directory domain services so this point we have already completed i am going to move ourselves to next point our responsibility to create ad user right our responsibility to create users in ad and the same users yes the same users you need to synchronize with microsoft intra id or you can say that you need to synchronize the users to azure active directory microsoft intra id right and by using these users yes by using these users we can set up our avd host pool the users that you created in our active directory server same user will use to create our avd host pool this is our agenda basically right so i hope you guys are able to understand about the prerequisite like to manage the another content of azure virtual desktop you should know about you should set up your on azure virtual uh, azure uh, virtual desktop host pool first and after that we'll discuss about the core features which are available in the avd host pool i'm moving ourselves to the portal azure portal and uh, this is our virtual machine that we have already set up with all the requirement like as a all the requirement in the sense like we have already installed the adds service and next step we need to proceed and create some active directory users and by by using the azure ready connect we need to synchronize the entire users to the azure active directory which is microsoft intra id nowadays it is microsoft intra id fine so i'm going to open our azure ready our microsoft intra id we just need to click on more services and uh, click on security under the security you will find microsoft intra id it will redirect you on the page of active directory users and computers so currently we don't have any user because i have already deleted the entire user need to give you the complete information about how we can manage the intra id so that's why i have already deleted the entire existing users we have to wait for few more seconds and take the rdp of our virtual machine it's not only virtual machine this is the ad server the active directory domain services are running as uh, uh, active directory domain services running properly i am going to take the rdp and uh, then create few active directory users right and after that we'll synchronize the users to azure ad por portal or azure ad panel okay we have to wait for few more minute our adds server is ready to use so first step you need to create few users and uh, after that we'll synchronize the same user to azure ad or microsoft intra id and after that we'll proceed for the azure virtual desktop host pool to create active directory user definitely we just need to you open active directory uh, users and computer cloud support.co.in this is the user uh, the domain that i used to create our adds service select users let me create few users like 
telnet this is our user that uh, will use to access the avd host pool virtual machine right one user next let me create the password for this user second user i'm going to create with name of aws yes the second user is aws and the last user i'm going to create with name of tata right so three different users we successfully created in our azure not azure in adds server and one user you need to decide to make the enterprise administrator or group policy creator administrator so i'm going to convert our telnet user as a member of administrator so you just need to open the telnet user and make uh, it member of uh, uh, group policy creator right first group policy creator owner second i am going to add and make it enterprise admin and number third you need to make it uh, domain admin okay administrator make it administrator and uh, one more point just wanted to add schema admin so these all are the member of uh, uh, the the telnet user is member of these users i'm going to apply not user groups and okay because the telnet user will use to create our avd host pool this is first step second step you need to synchronize the users yes our responsibility to synchronize the users from azure active directory sorry from uh, uh, on premises domain controller to the azure active directory services so let me download one tool the tool name is azure ad connect as you know that the azure ad connect tool can help us to install that that can help us to synchronize the users from server operating system to the what we can say that azure ad panel so let me download the tool download azure ad connect right you need to download from the microsoft site you always try to download it from microsoft site so just need to click here and it will give us option to download and install on our on premises domain controller you need to download the azure ad connect tool and install on our server operating system but before that you need to create one user yes one azure active directory user that help us to uh, synchronize our on premises ad users to azure active directory so which is considered as a we just need to open our uh, uh, azure intra id and under the azure intra id we just need to open users click new user yes i wanted to create new user with name of gcp this is the user name and proceed for the next step <coughs> so gcp user will make it uh, member of yes will make it a uh, member of global administrator and by using the global administrator account we are able to synchronize the users from on premises ad to azure ad select roles and in the roles we just need to provide global administrator you should make it member of global administrator next review and create we successfully created one user with name of gcp and uh, you must need to reset the password because it will ask you on the first login you need to reset the password portal.azure.com let me open with name of gcp at the rate teach me okay sorry i just created with uh, teach me cloud.net let me identify teach me cloud.net
on first login it's mandatory to reset the password fine so we successfully reset the password of our global administrator account back to the azure admin pa panel azure ad panel gcp at the rate teachmecloud.net we'll use the same user to synchronize our on-premises ad user it will ask you whenever we proceed to install azure active directory connect let's me let me show you we just need to install azure ad connect tool on our server operating system the ad machine the ad we install on server virtual machine I agree to the license term. Next, this is first time of installation. So that's why I'm going to proceed the use express setting. This is the panel where we can provide the user ID that you created, which is a member of global administrator, GCP at the rate teach me cloud dot in, and you need to provide the password for approval purpose. Yes. Next. And second, we need to provide the uh, user ID and password of our local domain controller. So our domain name is teach, not teach me, uh, cloud support, right, uh, dot co dot in slash web, web is our, uh, the local administrator and provide password. Right. Firstly, we need to synchronize the entire users from our Azure Active Directory. Sorry, Active Directory to the Azure AD. Once we synchronize successfully, we'll use the same user that we decided. Like Telnet is a owner of our uh, means Telnet is a member of our enterprise administrator. Same user we'll use to create our AVD host pool. So this is the second final step means uh, second last step and after that we'll proceed for the final step to create our AVD host pool. So we have to wait for a few more minutes. Once our user synchronized successfully, we will proceed for the next step. As you ready connect, we successfully installed on our server machine. And uh, now we need to move ourselves to the Azure Intra ID, our Microsoft Intra ID, our Azure Active Directory, and see the entire users, if we're able to find the entire users successfully synchronized or not. So definitely it will take time, like two to three minutes, you have to wait and refresh the page and definitely you will find the entire users over a uh, Azure Active Directory panel. As we discussed before, you need to decide, you need to uh, use Telnet user because the Telnet user is member of enterprise administrator and group policy creator owner administrator member. So we'll use the same user to create our AVD host pool. Meanwhile, let me open another wizard to create our AVD host pool. Azure Virtual Desktop and our responsibility to create AVD host pool. But before that, you have to wait. Now we successfully synchronized the user with name of Telnet at the rate teach me Telnet at the rate cloud support dot co dot in. This is the full name of our on premises AD user. Back to the Azure AD uh, Azure Virtual Desktop. Click on create host pool and make sure you need to set up your AVD host pool in the same location that you have already selected to establish your uh, virtual network type the name avd class vm okay this is the name avd class vm central us is our location so definitely i wanted to set up it in location of central us i don't want to proceed with preferred group it's, it's a type of workspace the application group is desktop Pooled, yes, I wanted to proceed with pooled, but I'll show you the uh, complete details. I'll give you the complete information about the meaning of personal and pools. Breath first, depth first, we'll discuss about it. I wanted to access three different user at the same time. Next, create a virtual machine and in the virtual machine, type any name like VM setup. 
and uh, central us is our location because the vnet is running in central us i don't want to proceed with any kind of failover standard yes in selection of image you always decide multi session right so uh, i'm going to proceed with windows 10 enterprise administrator multi session microsoft 365 application with the application of microsoft 365 the virtual machines capacity is two virtual core processor and uh, 8 gig of ram which is enough provide the number of virtual machine i wanted to create only one virtual machine to access by three different user standard ssd i don't want to make any changes and this is the virtual network we have already created our virtual network with name of uh, avd vnet and avd subnet networking basic just need to know, no need to make any changes here active direct yes we have a two different option one is microsoft intra id if you don't have any kind of domain controller on server machine you can proceed with microsoft intra id if you have already established your domain on your server 2016 or 2019 so you always proceed with the azure active directory sorry active directory services provide the full name upn name so our username is telnet at cloud support yes this is the full name cloud support dot co dot in this is the name and provide your password so i'm going to use the same password that i established in the backend of our user domain join is name of domain join is cloud support dot co dot in this is the domain name i don't want to make any changes this is the default username and password which is applicable to access our virtual machine using local administrator so web is considered as a local administrator account nothing to do anything we just need to click next this is the another panel where we can provide the workspace it's mandatory to create new workspace demo work space okay this is the name click okay next 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 and this is the final step and after completing this part you have to wait up to 10 to 15 minute maybe maybe 15 minute required so we have to wait up to 15 minute once our avd host pool is ready to use i'll give you the steps how we can access our virtual machine through the active directory users so validation passed and initializing deployment we have to wait i'm going to pause the video wait for the 10 minute and uh, once our avd host pool is ready to use i'll show you the options which are available in avd host pools properties we have to wait guys okay our avd host pool is successfully created let me click on the go to resource and it will give you the complete information about your avd host pool everything is okay like we are able to find total number of virtual machine one can connect it zero cannot connect it can't connect it one because we haven't taken any rdp the number of application group one and application available one means we are able to access the virtual machine using three different user account at the same time because uh, we have already decided the number of session means three different users are able to access the same virtual machine at the same time so i'll show you how we can get it so in this case what we need to do this is avd class vm the avd host pool that we created and uh, we just need to click on the application group and under the application group we are able to find one application group and open the application group properties go to the assignments and in the assignment yes you need to provide the users those user want to access the rdp of our virtual machine yes i wanted to access with the help of telnet user and second i wanted to access with the help of aws user account and i think tata user is also available right so i wanted to access the same virtual machine using three different active directory users remember guys the same users we created in our on premises ad and we successfully synchronized these users to the azure active directory and after that the same user we are able to find in the properties of avd host pool that's why it's mandatory for us the active directory services can play the vital role of uh, vital role in case of avd host pool environment 